What do you want to see tonight, Richie, from Parker? I want to see a, a real positive performance because um, obviously his last one, which was the biggest contest of, of his career, then obviously he had to pull out with the hand injury. So he's really got to make a statement here tonight. And this isn't an easy fight, Fletch. This Graedia, you know, he's a, he's a tough kid. He's only been stopped once, and that was six years ago. So this is a tough opponent to come back to. But Parker, lots and lots of skills. I like his technique and his style. But he's got to put on a performance tonight and just show people that he is back. talked about considering ret retirement after the John Ryder fight, but he started this fight quite well here, Richie. Already, Graedia started to feel the power of Parker, particularly to the body. Well, Parker's a, a very skillful switch hitter. Now he's boxing as a southpaw. He can also box uh, as an orthodox. And, uh, yeah, I think Graedia would prefer Parker to, to, to box as an orthodox boxer. Boxing well, but Grady is tough and he will keep coming and he knows he's got to get closer to Parker. And for me, if he gets close enough to land the left hook, then that may be a punch that Parker's got to watch out for. Good combination work from Parker, very accurate with those punches. Grady took them well, that's what he does. Parker's been nice and sharp and nice and accurate in the opening couple of rounds here. The kind of rounds that he will need, I'm sure, to just rebuild that bit of confidence both mentally and physically after the Ryder fight. A fight he was ahead in on a couple of the scorecards that night before the injury. Ryder went on to be beaten by Canelo Alvarez and Parker back in the ring this evening. Squeezed a nice uppercut through and he follows it up with two or three more on the back of that. And all of the punches really tonight coming from Zach Parker. There's not been a great deal at all coming back at this stage. His last three contests uh, have been crackers, haven't they, against Ezra Taylor. Um, Carol Itaume took him to points as well. And, of course, Dan Aziz. He, he got beat to Dan Aziz on points. So he's boxed quality opponents in his last three contests as Gradia. If Parker could get a stoppage, that would send out a message. Well, he'd be the first man to stop him since 2017. If he can't do that tonight, Zach Parker, and that, I suppose, would be the perfect return. He's... Won the opening couple of rounds by quite a wide margin. He's on his way to making it three in a row here in the third. Good body shot again. Hurtful punches, though, to the body of the Frenchman. Yeah, that was a good shot. That, I think Grady really felt that one, Fletch. That, that right hand to the body then. You see, yeah, look at the, the body language. It's just slowed him down a little bit there, Grady. That one right hand, yeah, that was a cracker, and now he's got him. They're just starting to open up and find the range and find the accuracy. There's a bit of damage around the nose of Gradia. Zach Parker just dropping his hands and showing his confidence and letting the punches go. And he can't really miss at the moment. Uppercut. This has been a good round for Parker, who's really enjoying himself in there. A nice solid uppercut that he manages to land with. That was a cracking shot, and yet he's being picked off now here. We finished that combination with a thudding right hand, didn't he? Yeah, right hook around the guard of Gradia. He was struggling a little bit here. Really good work from Parker, who's certainly warmed to the task. Yeah, what's important here for Parker tonight? I mean, oh, super punch. That was a cracker. The, the quality of that shot there, the counter, that was really top draw there from Parker. Showing the full repertoire in there tonight, Parker. Been some really eye-catching moments from him in the opening four rounds, and they're continuing here into the fifth. Yeah, a bit of a low blow there from Gradia. Referee just having a word. He did acknowledge it as well, he knew that he threw it and he put his hand up. But yeah, of course, we know all about belly buttons and all that kind of thing now, don't we, after what's happened <laughs> no. over the last couple of months? That's very true. I don't think anybody's in any doubt anymore what constitutes a low blow. <laughs> and we shouldn't be, should we? For Parker, it's just um, his output, isn't it? He's, he's worked hard throughout the contest, thrown much more than his opponent. But again, Grady is still not out of there, and, and that's the body not a shots, bad shot. The body shots that he's landing, Richie, must be having an effect on Grady. Yeah. See, there's that left hook. We spoke about it earlier. The left hook could be the problem for Parker. But um, 
He's rarely landed it. Little glimpse there from Gradia that he could have some success with that shot. I think Grader also, um, Fletch, he's reluctant to make a mistake here because every mistake he's made, he's been punished. <laughs> the Gradia corner have called off the action and Zach Parker does get the stoppage win. Errol Johnson had just said to Zach Parker in the corner, keep popping out the jab because I think he's got a broken nose and I wonder whether that might be the reason why the Graidia corner have called a halt to proceedings and Zach Parker is back, Zach Parker is back with a win and Zach Parker was impressive in there tonight. He was indeed and that's a good victory to get the stoppies there, we spoke about it at the start of the contest, that would be a really good performance because this guy doesn't get stopped, he's been stopped once in six years, he's tough, he's cagey and he's patient, he's great. He, he waits and waits and waits and then really tries to get on, in, on his opponent but he was out boxing every round, every second of every round and, and Zach Parker there has got valuable rounds under his belt, no question. The blue corner advises our referee in charge, John Latham, to stop the contest. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout, Zach.